Hello and welcome to the GG Bet Chicago Invitational. Last week we seen the Cologne Invitational at yeah. its conclusion, and I know at least once or twice throughout this week I will call it the Cologne Invitational. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say yeah. like, is he going to stumble at the floor? And no, like, the, the first, first hurdle. One. Yeah, yeah. It's, first, it's it's good to get it over the you know the problem straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get it away for that. <laughs> but luckily I got it right. So it is yeah. the Chicago Invitational. This is going to be where one team, one lucky team, will get a spot at the I M Chicago event. We see Liquid get to Cologne. That's the team everybody expected. But I feel like it's a little bit more open season not when we get to the Chicago one. Definitely so. We don't have the <laughs> number one team exactly, in the world yeah. uh, vying for a qualification spot. But even then, I mean, we saw that in, in the last Invitational that Liquid weren't you know, perfect by yeah. any means. Started off the tournament losing to Spirit, had a couple of scares here and there. Potentially could have gone out to force exactly, in the semifinals, yeah. right? Like we had the crazy ending to Inferno, 15-13, 2v2, then obviously technical issues, uh, you know, became the, the bane of force with El Mazur timing out. But, you know, that very easily could have gone into overtime considering the situation. And we might have just had, you know, force versus G2 battling it out instead. But it's kind of fitting, though. It just, you kind of see the level of the, the teams that we had in the Invitational last week because that ended up being the Pro League Finals. So, yeah, exactly. That's what I was looking at. I was like, could this be the final? We've yeah. Just it. it ended up being so, and it was, again, another close one. Yeah. Um, but Liquid did end that one at 2-0. Um, they did make it to Cologne. But here at the Chicago Invitational, I think, obviously, I feel like the CIS teams are going to be the teams that do the damage here. we kind of seen that in the Cologne Invitational, but fours are back again, and they'll probably be looking for a little bit more redemption after yeah. the sort of technical problems they had against Liquid. Y you'd hope so, right? And, I mean, the way they were playing, you, you have high hopes for them, uh, looking at the rest mm. of the field of the teams that are here. Obviously, we have Optic, uh, Gamers Legion. That's going to be our first opening match, actually, yeah. as well. Uh, Hellraisers are back, Heroic in here as well. Uh, there's definitely solid teams for them to, to overcome, but with how they played uh, in their first Invitational, I think they stand a pretty good chance of, if not qualifying, then potentially making it to finals at the very least. Yeah, exactly. And taking a look at that first match, Optic taking on, uh, obviously, Gamers Legion. Yep. We've got a lot of really interesting topics to talk about in this one. Obviously, Optic with a recent success, and Gamers Legion as well, not having a bad run at Mosh, making it to the grand final. Absolutely, and in addition to that, uh, qualifying themselves for uh, for some lands here and there. Pretty much attending every sort of online tournament that you can you can uh, expect to see as we see the veto coming up. Inferno and Nuke is going to be taken out by uh, the two teams respectively to start us off. And I mean, I really haven't seen uh, I guess too much of a game of Legion playing with their full lineup to to really know where they want to go. We see Overpass being the the pick for uh, Optic. It's uh, no, actually, oh, well, yeah. the ban, I'm sorry. sorry. It's a best of one, not best, best of three. Of yeah, one, exactly. Yeah. It messes with my head. And train being removed by Gamers Legion. That kind of makes sense considering where we're at. Um, given uh, Optic's strength, Vertigo being taken out as well. We've seen more and more teams float the map, uh, but it doesn't really seem like anyone has really figured it out to the point where it benefits them yeah. from picking it. And it's such a boring map to watch. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, it is actually quite dull to, to watch. It's a lot more fun to play, weirdly enough. And then leaves us with uh, Mirage. If I'm uh, mistaken, and Dust 2 one, yeah, Mirage is going to be where we're uh, we're ending up on. That's a great map for Gamer Legion. I yeah. think that's their most uh, most played map and also their most successful one. Yeah, they have a lot of uh, individuals on the team as well, which is a big factor, obviously, when you're going up against the likes of Optic, yeah. which you would say have probably got, I would say, a deeper team. They've got MSL, obviously, being the leader of that. But the thing is, when you take a look at the two teams, Gamer Legion, they don't have a problem in terms of in-game leadership. They've got existence there, and he's definitely one of the, the better masterminds of the, the game. Absolutely. So for him, it's always been a case of can he actually have an impact you know, fragging wise as well, not just in terms of mm. what kind of IDs you bring out and can he, you know, make sure that he's not a nuisance as much as he brings from uh, from uh, the strategical point of view. So I, I think uh, as well, after we saw him, uh, well, ever since G2, the last run in G2, he's been playing better and better uh, personally, you know, as an individual. I think that became uh, a, well, a focus for him as well because he kind of realized what everyone else saw as well. The, you know, you can have the best idea in the world, but if you're not able to, you know, get a single kill, in the very obvious situations that th it's not going to you know, help you fulfill your plan. So he's uh, focused more on that. I think that's going to do him some benefits, but it's still not existence that we're expecting to see the most firepower coming out of. Yeah, and something, you know, conversely, MSL is a player that's actually started to sort of elevate his uh, individual level. He's yeah. seen him play pretty well recently. Playing with the AWP as well. AWP, and yeah. uh, I think that he started to pick that up towards the end of his tenure at North, right? He was he got the MVP of the tournament, I'm pretty sure, that Stockholm they won. Oh, the, the Ma yeah, uh, uh, Dreamhack Masters. Yeah, 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 yeah. One. And he, he played like a beast. The next tournament <laughs> they go out in the major, he's gone. Yeah, it, it was a it was a weird one. But yeah, he's he's... Played with it, uh, the idea of, uh, of opping every now yeah. and again, and I think that's why they ended up making the lineup changes they had. Obviously, Yugi used to be in this team, and if yeah. you have Yugi in your team, 
pretty set who's going to be the main op. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that creates a bit of a room. They have again four solid riflers uh, surrounding him. So yeah. even though he's not, I guess, a specialized opera as of right now, it it gives him room to at least play around with it because there's not really that many yeah. other alternatives. There's always been that sort of topic as well that MSL can't really work with opers. I've kind of seen that thrown around as well. So if he makes himself the opera, perhaps he can work with himself. Is yeah. uh, is the thing to look at. Uh, we've we've seen in game leaders who op as well. You know, being able to to be you know somewhat efficient. Fallen is obviously yeah. the, the main example of that. It's also like how you're able to control the the team from a stationary position as well. Because well, I guess. Fallen in that sense is a uh, not the greatest example because he does do a lot of combat opping. But if you can be stationary and you know give yourself just one thing to focus on as an individual player, which is a very set angle, uh, that makes it a lot of easy, uh, a lot easier to take in information from the four others you're getting and actually develop a plan accordingly. So I think y there's definitely upsides to to being an opera and, and also an in-game leader. You mentioned a the player there, Config. He's definitely a player that sort of looked better with MSL immediately mm -hmm. being added to the team. I think, obviously, Config had so much hype around him, and then he yeah. went away from North to Optic with Snappy. Didn't really look that great. And here, he's been a lot better. I think his individual form is definitely on the rise, which is good to see. It seems like MSL has been like the key to unlock yeah. Config for the entirety of his career. I mean, started off in Dignitas, obviously, and then, as you said, became yeah. North. Uh, and yeah, I think it's part of it. It seems kind of weird because Config is the kind of player you would expect to do, I guess, unplanned things or be a bit wild in terms of his play style, doing uncharacteristic moves that not not necessarily by the book. While MSL's play style is very much mm. by the book, uh, but yeah, having that kind of structure and and uh, things like this to fall back on and knowing that you have you know four four other teammates that are playing around you to help you set up for these kind of crazy moves, I think that does a lot for him instead of just having more of a loose playing style where everybody is just anywhere at any given time, right? Uh, so it's been good to see Config playing better and better. I think, uh, again, their win at DreamHack was a pretty big yeah. confidence boost as well. Um, we'll see if he's able to, to work off of that. I also think the team benefited massively from bringing Nico back into into yeah. the squad. I'll think probably be looking for a little bit uh, using this as a showcase. Obviously, they're going to be losing their organization soon, so this should be a Yeah, great we, do, we do call them Optic, but yeah. they're not really Optic anymore, and uh, that's not really a secret anymore. Obviously, Optic, the entire org, was bought out by Immortals, uh -huh. uh, and due to, A, having MIBR part of that yeah. squad already, they can't have two... Uh, two teams if they want to be a part of the major cycle uh, and everything. And that's obviously is something that yeah. uh, a team of that stature wants to do. So, uh, yeah, Optic, they're uh, they're looking for, for a new home. And we'll see if, uh, I guess the spot at Chicago yeah, would be a pretty good yeah. way <laughs> of uh, enticing some people to, uh, well, someone to support them. But it, it's going to be tough. Uh, we haven't really touched too much on Gamer Legion. And, I mean, it's an exciting lineup. I like the lineup. Uh, it's weird, right? It's, it's uh, weird. It's got it a lot of different pieces. Yeah, I mean, you've uh, got an Estonian and, and um, oh yeah, Estonian and HS. Obviously, um, yep. Existence and Scream from Belgium, and Hampus and Knock from Sweden. So it's the first time uh, we've seen uh, Existence play in an international lineup. One of the biggest issues for him in the past is the fact that he didn't really speak. English too well? I, I think it was more the fact that he wasn't confident in his English. I yeah. Th I, I think a lot of people were saying he's good at English, but... Actually, really yeah, well, that is kind of the case with a lot of the French yeah. uh, players. And considering he's been part of the... <laughs> well, the the circuit, I guess, pro circuit for yeah. so many years, he has definitely picked up English. He knows how to speak it, absolutely. But it's cool to see. I mean, trying to, uh, to go new routes to, to find success, and they've been playing pretty well for themselves as of late, too. Well, we are into the pit store. It's been a very slow approach from Optic, but eventually they will start to spring out of the underpasses through, through the connector config. The man who entry frags for this team is really interesting to see. He's going to be leading the charge. He will get the kill as well on the HS, but already Hackers has picked up one. Another one coming through as well. An under price from inside of the bomb site is not trying to deal with multiple players, but Refresh comes in, sweeps him up, and it's back into a 2v2. That bomb's going to go down in a pretty good position for Refresh as well to play the after plan. Unless he gets caught out, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Hampus with a third of a round. Config left to his own de devices. We've seen this before, and you talked about him. Form increasing. He's going to need to come up big here. The screen's going to get the better of him. Picks up the defuse kit as well, so no issue time-wise for the aim star to uh, get Gamer Legion off to a hot start. Yeah, I think it all falls on the Hampus there. Really doing a great job. Three oh, kills yeah. coming in under so much pressure from Optic, but... Good to see that the individuals are showing up on both teams early, at least. Yeah, and uh, again, as we see the GD dot bet odds coming in here for his well, favorite to win the match. Game relieved at 1.79. Optic actually 1.94 after losing that pistol. I think this is going to be a fairly close match in terms of the odds. Yeah. 
Uh, it's going to shift, hop around quite a bit, actually, uh, just depending on who's looking hot at the moment. Because yeah, it's hard to kind of put yeah. these two teams up against each other and say that one is definitely better than the other. Because the pistol was so closely contested, both teams can actually get a pretty solid buy into this one. Config is going to get himself one, but the grenade comes through as well. <laughs> Another one comes through for Gamer Legion as Scream will take away Tessus. And so the man advantage is there for the CT side. I was looking so good for Optic immediately. Uh, again, the aggressive push from Gamer Legion, definitely not what you want to do if you're going up against uh, this kind of a pressure from Optic. Yeah. Because you stand the risk of just, well, losing out your entire mid defense, mid control, and also giving a ton of weapons away because you're not expecting two AKs. Nage is doing the work. And this is also going to be interesting as well. This game is obviously played on the new patch, mm. which means Hog has received a significant nerf. We're still going to see the CTs play around with it. Noc doesn't even need a scope anymore. Using the FAMAS. Yeah, it's doing a lot of work. I've never seen that kind of accuracy <laughs> with a FAMAS. All right. Yeah. Um, not too shabby at all. And I mean, we all, we just saw NIP announce uh, a lineup change uh, with uh, Dennis being taken out and Plopsky mm. uh, being brought into the lineup. I always saw, obviously, Noc and Plopsky used to play together in the old existence teams. I always thought Nock was, I guess, the the more promising player, but I guess there is a, a four year gap in uh, between the two. Plopsky yeah. is 17 year old, Nock is 21, but Nock has been really impressing me, and I don't think this is going to be like the end of the uh, end of the line for him. I think he's going to go places. Yeah, definitely. He's uh, it's got such a high skill ceiling. Obviously, replacing Draken in this team originally. But he not pick it up. They kill again on the Famas. MSL will hit the floor, and it is getting a lot of money. On the MP9, Nock will come in and sweep it up. Another triple kill with, with the Famas. Famas. Yeah, it's unheard of. <laughs> maybe he knows something we don't. Um, Just knows how to use it, maybe. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a good start again. If you have pretty solid aim, I guess most guns work for you. But yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see. I, I think Freiburg tweeted out, uh, and obviously he's playing in, uh, with Heroic in this yeah. tournament, that it seemed in practice that most of the teams have gone away from the AUG again, gone back to the M4. I guess with that, well, we might also see more M4S um, as we go along. But it's it's curious to see what teams have uh, gone back to the old ways immediately after the patch, or yeah. who's going to remain trying it out. I think we'll probably see a little bit more of a mixture, which is uh, probably the intended goal. But again, there's config. That's a brazen peak. Yeah. No flash either. He does that quite often. He just kind of gives away his life a couple of times. He's such an impactful player. You want to kind of have him late into the games, but... Not looking great here for Optic. They've lost three players early. This is the buy round as well. And they haven't gotten anything for it. Nico's been able to uh, sneak his way out towards B. One kill here. Struggles a little bit. Not quite the same uh, precision as we see from some of the Liquid players with that weapon. Yeah. It, it is a difficult weapon to control. Like The spray oh, pattern is so alien compared to the other weapons. Exactly. It just goes in the opposite direction, doesn't it? Yeah. That's really tough. And then Newcomer TSS here. If obviously a round win is out of the question at this one, it should be, but if you can do some damage to the CT side, that would be great. Scream. I guess a weapon like the AUG would I, might benefit Scream even more with considering his playstyle, right? Tap mm. heavy. Mm. Uh, it's still going to be precise. we just seen sort of the the effect there of the update, you know, being more inaccurate without scoping. You can yeah. see him miss the first shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's not something Scream normally yeah. does. <laughs> Uh, but it's going to be cool. I, actually, we saw so many pros not using the scope whatsoever, which I, I'm assuming is what led to the nerf of making the unscoped, uh, I guess, yeah. edition of it or stance of it less accurate. But it's uh, it's cool. It's going to be fun to see the evolution of this weapon as we go along. And Optic, the rack on a bit of a half by. It's not been a great start here for Optic. From the from the start, they had in the pistol it looked okay, and then after that, it's just kind of fallen apart. So. Oh, we'll see if he can turn that water on, but the grenade is going to do a little bit of damage on multiple players. But HS on top of the stairs trying to spam on in. Config is already right through it, but there's the kill. HS lines them up, denies the bomb plant. Now Tessis is trying to get rid of him. He'll do so as the AK into his hands. It goes back towards CT, although there's only two bullets left in the chamber. Back into a situation where Game Legion are favored as Tessis and Nico. It's got to be a big play here from the Deagle. Coming in from behind, it has to be all four kills. He's going to hide in jungle. It's not looking likely this will happen. He's going to have to wait for the right time. He does find one. Ooh. Ooh, a second one as well. That's uh, at least one of the ops gone for the time being. We'll see if they go back to double up. They do. Screen picks that up. That could have gotten a little bit dicey. Nico trying his best to get Optic on the board. But they do get a bomb plant, so it means a pretty healthy buy as well. 
I'm not sure if there's an off dropped on the, the ground for Emma Seller, if he's going to have to rock the AK. But nonetheless, Optic. I'm assuming we're going to see more towards the sort of uh, well general map control, playing a default, or at yeah. least set up, setting up for a set execute, more so than having config just Roll pull, ramp. Yeah, do a dry <laughs> peak from a ramp this time. I mean, that can definitely work. We've seen it work a lot. Oh, yeah. It's just the fact that they were ready for it. Yeah, I mean, just picked up an AWP on Nox. Yeah. It's a pretty easy kill for him unless uh, Config hits a crazy shot. Nico finds existence lurking about with that AWP. Mm. Think past his angle early on, so that's a big opening as well. Thins out the defense, stretches them. Oh, it's, yeah, he's going to go aggressive again. That's brazen. Probably didn't expect Nico to push this far forward on his lonesome, but... Already, that kind of just seals the deal. There's no real reason for Gamer Legion to go for this unless they can find something through the smoke. Yeah, just two easy pickups. And Reaper is going to get himself another one here. Just walking out of Palace, HS. Caught with his pants down. He'll be finished off. And uh, Refresh might just get another one. Although he's looking the wrong way. Scream comes around the corner. The headshot is connected. And it comes into the 2v4. The same having to come through here from Gamer Legion. But as long as they can do some damage to that optic economy, keep it nice and modest. I mean, they can uh, contest again in this later stages. So Optic will get their first on the board. Yeah. One more frag would do them wonders. Let's see if that's the case, though. If that can be done. As you said, yeah. Most important thing for Optic right now, getting on the board. Nice and... Uh, I say early. It's not really early. Already five rounds on the side of Gamer Legion, but... Better late than never. Well... You guys can head over to csgo.net and you can use the code CHICAGO um, on csgo.net to get yourself a 30% more balance and a chance to win some cool new skins that definitely increase your skill within the game. That's, that's <laughs> no lie. I actually noticed from uh, the Invitational with the Liquid last time and to this one, yeah, because we saw Twist using the shotgun a lot of times, yeah, and he didn't have a skin. He did have it from Pro League. Oh, okay. And just like that, they win Pro League. And they win it, yeah. So, I mean, if that's not... That's not evidence enough. It's science. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what kind of mad science the CT side has gotten up to. It's going to be screen playing aggressively initially. Done a lot of damage on time himself. He'll have his back covered as well. Knock finds the opening. Oh, good start for... I don't even know what you would call it. I guess the European squad? <laughs> yeah. Gamer Legion? Yeah. We just call it the Gamer Legion. That's, uh, that's such a good kind of Wow, Nico doing... Significant damage there to, to bring them uh, back into it with a hope, but as quickly as he brought them back, as quickly it veins. So it's left to test this once more, the newcomer. Haven't had the hottest start to the game, and it's going to continue on a downward slope for him. Not picking up the op in uh, top mid there, so it seems like Gamer Legion wants to go away from that double op setup that they had. I mean, for those who aren't aware as well, because we haven't really seen Existence used an op a whole lot in CSGO, but in back in Source, uh, when, again, he was part of the best teams ever assembled in, in that game, he was actually a pretty prominent offer. Really, really strong one. Uh, but he's kind of shied away from it. He's going to go with the August round. Knock once more, jumping up on Catwalk. Smoke's going to block off his vision, though. Ooh. Utility's been pretty yeah. efficient here for Game Relief so far. Seem to be a good read of where Optic are playing from. Mm. Nock is going to take away MSL early. Tessa steps in, but Nock with another one. So much M impact coming off the back of that AWP. Yeah, Aegis with a bit of wild play as well as soon Ooh. as they find the picking power. More nade damage. Jesus. Scream just started charging down the apartments, and uh, it was looking likely we'd see Nico <laughs> get another free kill, but Scream too quick on the trigger. And uh, at this point, Optic, they've just run into a brick wall. Yeah, it, I mean, so far what we've seen out of Optic has been a pretty, I guess, standard setup with Nico being fairly aggressive actually towards the Oh, there you see it. Probably with old patch, that, that's a kill. Not to be the case though. Molotov goes out. It's going to not deny the bomb plant. There's a tiny bit of damage onto Tessas, but they've been pretty heavily tagged up already. And while Tessas dies, and this is quite the run Refresh has to make. Bomb's not going to go down yet. They still have two smokes as well, so they should be perfectly fine to smoke off the bomb. Yeah. Refresh is going to try and go for the long flight. That's one kill onto Nock. AWP into his hands as well, but he 
is getting quickly. Dooku finally coming through. Just to hold on. Oh, another shot from Refresh. Can he pull this off? Just a little bit more to the left, and he would have managed it. But unfortunately, he cannot get that kill. And Game of Legion will walk away with the wrong win. They do, but they do take significant damage in there. Instead of surviving with three, potentially, they go down to one. We'll see AJ sitting at 3.9. Luckily for him, though, Hampus had a fair bit of money left over, so they will be able to, to restock without too much of an issue. As we see the updated odds here from GD.bet, Gamey Legion more, yeah, co <laughs> convincingly in the lead here, yeah. or favored. 1.29 odds for them. Optic just, uh, this is kind of running away from them. We're we mentioned it briefly during the veto. This is a very strong map for Gamey Legion. They've been playing it a ton. Uh, I think they boasted an 80% win rate on it as well. So it's not often you get to end up on your best map in a best of one, but yeah. here we are. I, th I think Game of Legion have been a little bit up and down when it comes to online games, but mm. we've seen them last week at the Morsha XL tournament. They actually beat Furia, and we kind of talked yeah. about their playstyle, how at some point it's going to be figured out, and I think Existence is the perfect guy for that. And exactly. You see some very clear tendencies as to yeah. how they want to play aggressive, and if you're able to shut that down all of a sudden, I, I don't think Furia has... Gotten to the point where they've made up a plan B, yeah. necessarily. Well, they've got five years to figure it out. <laughs> that, that is very true. That's a wild contract. All right. Back into the action we go. Another off in the hands of MSL. It's going to be mid control again. That's the name of the game. Well, this time, Refresh playing super passive, waiting for some aggression. You can see information on the shoulder. Beat the one player close as HS. Looking for that pick, that early advantage. Refresh is going to take a lot of damage on the grenade, but still, no kill yet fine for either. Mm, they're actually going to back off of it. I kind of like that decision, not to, to chance your entire round off of getting that pick off yeah. on, on Refresh. Config, though, he's gotten in through window. He's all the way up towards B. This is going to catch the entire B defense by uh, surprise. And Optic are already set up in a perfect situation to deal with this as well. To stay alive there. Multiple players running in from the apartments, config as well. But it will be the kill from config, the second of the run at this point, Game Legion. It's, uh, it's just not realistic. You make it back into the bomb site, so probably just the save. Yep. Hold on to that up on knock. See what you can do with it in the following round. As I said, Hampus had a fair bit of money left over as well, so it should be possible for Game Legion to, to buy into this as long as they don't suffer extended losses. HS used to play for Optic. Yeah, it feels like everybody's been through Optic yeah, at some exactly, point now. Yeah. <laughs> um, they've had quite a few lineups. I think that one was probably their strangest one with like Freiburg, Freiburg Alu. HS, Alu, Magisk. Yeah, a bit of a weird one. It's worked out pretty well for a lot of the, the players in that lineup, though. I mean, Freiburg and Rook are better than, you know, better than ever. Uh, I think that's fair to say for Alu and Ents as well. Mm -hmm. And obviously, Magisk had quite the run in, uh, in Australis uh, throughout 2018. Yeah. HS finds himself in Game Religion alongside uh, the likes of Scream Existence. Not bad players to be associating with. Absolutely. And I mean, uh, again, on the side of the Swedes and this uh, team as well, Hampus and Nock. Nock, obviously, pretty big prospect in the Swedish scene. But Hampus has always been brought up as well as one of the potential uh, players to, to get poached by teams. Obviously, he, he has been in-game leading in some of his teams, like yeah. Red Reserve and so on, which is... A pretty hot commodity to be an in-game leader and also being able to frag to the extent that Hamp is, is able to. Well, coming under a lot of pressure here, Scream. All the coming through the apartments, can he hold on over the top of his head? Oh, so awkward. Comfort yet again has his number, but the trade is in from Nock. Nico able to pick up one on the SG as the bomb is getting planted. Optic looking strong, but the way back in, and it's going to be Tessis. Just holding off HS. Starting to knock them so great here for Game of Legion. Missed shot from Nock. He's stuck in between two Molotovs at this point. Again, probably just the save call. It's going to be a little bit more difficult there for Nock. And so it's all into existence to carry the M484 into the next one. Yeah, he just, just really going for broke there with the push in towards the yeah. site. I mean, while he's doing that, existence is still over by connector. So the likelihood of them succeeding in that retake, fairly low, I'd say. Right now, Optic abusing that B bomb site, working out for them pretty well. Scream just not being able to find out where <laughs> where the players ended up. He had the right idea initially, right? I mean, yeah. uh, it's a bit of a 50-50, right? Either they dive out of window, clear out the the car position, or they go out through balcony. And uh, it's a bit of a bit of a wild chance for for Scream to to get it right, I guess, in that sense. It doesn't yeah. pan out this time. It's so difficult to 
vertically aim as well. So if oh like, God, Paul yes. literally above your head, you cannot flick up that yeah. quickly. I think he also got confused by the shadows because when he was looking towards the site, pretty much waiting for someone to rotate around from the window drop, you could see the shadow above him. So he, you can see him turn around, expecting somebody to jump past him yeah. to behind the car. Doesn't find anyone because it's config straight up on top of his head initially. Does give Optic a third round though. Probably Let's see if they can. Yeah, we. I mean, looking very likely. Scream just with the USP, Hampus P250. Only weapon really on the side of existence. Although we have seen stranger things though. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen a lot of strange things throughout these invitationals so far. Well, existence has got to have a load of impact with his M4A4. He smoked off and so the pressure. Is on to the USPs and the P250s to see if they can get anything done as Hampers Smoke comes in towards ladder room as they start to make their way up short. MSL will be the front man. Just looking for that pick. The question is if Hampers can find a timing to jump behind. Scream with a <laughs> ambitious Zeus. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, Exists attacks of Config as he's midair and he's going to fall to his death. Nice double up there from uh, Gamer Legion to find refresh as well. Recite, no, retake, not really uh, looking to happen. But again, if they can scavenge and hold on to this, these weapons on the side of Gamer Legion, they should be happy. Nox going to give up the AK. If I'm the CTs right now, I'm bailing out. Holding on to those two weapons, that's a pretty good get considering what they invested into the round. Yeah, exactly. Two kills, two people saving rifles. Definitely not what uh, Gamer Legion will be complaining about. So Optic will get four. And this is their chance to build up a few more rounds on the T side, because it wasn't a great start for them. But if they can manage to get a few on the board and make sure this hand is close, then they will be able to uh, obviously compete in the second. It is a best of one, and obviously there's a lot of upsets happen in the early games of tournaments, yes. especially in the best of one stages. So Optic need to be careful. They really do. But again, getting a strong T side will do them wonders. Stronger CT sided teams on on Mirage than what they are. I think they, I think it was uh, roughly 58% of their round wins come on the CT side, on the side of Optic here on Mirage. So for them to get a strong T side is going to do the wonders. They're going to feel real confident about it if they can keep this to a nine to six, eight to seven kind of a scoreline. Here we go though. Ooh, this is a decent angle from HS, just playing for the pick, but the nades come in, so he left to hide behind the triple stack. He will peek out and get one. That's the bombs. So that slows it a little bit more here for existence to try and get in on the top of the stairs. A little smoke is covering him off. Cannot quite spot anyone, and so the bomb will get planted. Config playing close towards CT. He's just got a barrel straight through the smoke. He might just pick this up, and there's the headshot onto Nock. Nico picks up Scream, and things are looking very good for Optic. Hampus in existence, absolutely no chance here, I'm afraid. So they might as well just set up for a couple of exits. And again, it's save time. Now, once again, Nico playing as safe as can be at the back of top mid. A bit of a fail safe considering the plant. He can always come in swinging through connector, but ultimately the rotations are not going to get the best of them. Might be a bit of a tough task to survive here, though. Existence doing a good job. Oh, so nearly has Hampus. Hampus is going to return. And so is Existence. So that's the entirety of Optic mode down. No round, obviously, for Game of Legion, but pretty decent for them nonetheless. And we can see the odds being actually changed up quite a bit here. Yeah. It's looking pretty confident for Game of Legion for quite some time to win the game. Now setting at 2.3 in odds and Optic back in the lead in that sense. Fluctuating quite a bit. Yeah. It's what we would have expected, I guess, going into the game. It's, it feels very 50-50. So far, we're uh, we're proven right. Flash goes into mid. Doesn't really do anything, and Nock is very late, actually, to jump on that. This is actually a map we started to see MSL be very individually strong on the AWP. Uh, we, we always see sort of those mid peaks coming in. Look at this, playing some of the smoke. This could be it, but Hampers has been spotted by Tessis. And this is, again, another clean one from Optic, leaving Scream and HS in an almost impossible situation. Yeah. Nox speaking to mid there is definitely ill-advised. Just so late after the flash. I mean, first off, it doesn't really do a whole lot, the, the initial flash, but then it's like a solid two and a half seconds before he actually peeks into the angle. We are running into HS, though. He might be able to catch a few Optic players off guard if he sticks around. 
that's it. MSL with a shot towards CT. It just finished off. What a run from MSL. Three kills to his name and uh, Scream. Well, Configs had his number quite a few times here towards B. And this time, and Scream will take him away. Stays alive in 15 HP. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind seeing a, a timeout come in here from Cape Religion because it seemed as though at the start they had uh, the game plan set. It was working well. They had a good read on Optic's T side. Mm. But now Optic just look like they're sort of waiting for the mistakes. Yeah. And Game Religion are happy to, to provide them the mistakes that they need to, to capitalize on it. So far, the, I don't think the, the mid aggression that we've seen out of Game of Legion has necessarily worked out too well. Uh, at the very best, we've seen that initial damage being done by utility, but the actual aggressive pushes hasn't really amounted to, to much of anything. And even in, in one round where they hung around towards meta got three kills, it nearly turned around off of a double kill from Nico. So it hasn't really felt secure uh, yeah. by by any means. So that coupled with, uh, I guess, a bit of a shaky B defense has uh, gotten Optic back into it. And you're going to get your wish fulfilled. <laughs> there we go. You get three. I've got two more left. Yeah. i got to use them wisely. <laughs> <laughs> I wish for more wishes. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's a, that's a classic one, isn't it? I'm not sure if that's something genies allow, though. Yeah, I, I think that might just be like cheating the system a little bit. Yeah, but they didn't really think about it. So, you know, if as long as there's yeah. no rule against there's it. There's a loophole. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of loopholes, I mean, there's definitely some holes in the defense of Gamer Legion right now. This is five rounds in a row for Optic. All of them with bomb going down as well. So they're getting onto the bomb sites. They're having a pretty good time of it. It's not necessarily just yeah. aim duels back and forth uh, with all kinds of craziness. It's been pretty convincing once Optic once got into it. And I think a, a big part of it as well is just finding that opening kill. They've done it so many times. Yeah. A lot of the times through the middle area. It's been working out for them. See if there's any change up in plans. Obviously, not a purchase coming in from Gamer Legion. They're playing for that last round instead of just chancing everything on it. Want at least make sure they get out of this uh, first half with with the win, I guess. Winning eight to seven in the first half, not ideal considering they started off what seven to one. Yeah, it's uh, it's just been a turnaround from Optic. Find those five in a row. This on paper should be one for Optic as well, but Game of Legion obviously they've got some potency in this buy. They've got Kevlar, they've got kits and an AK in the hands of Scream. The only thing is Scream's just been left over towards the uh, the jump spot position. So if they go towards A, can't really help out too much there. So hopefully Optic decide to move, make their way into the bomb site. Go in towards existence in ladder room. MSL starting to slowly make his way up short with AWP. No one yet overextending from Gamer Legion, but the screen might be under a lot of pressure. And there it is. Nico picks him up. Kill comes in from Tessus, but Nock. He's in the ninja position. There's the kill on the Deagle. Can he get another one? The bomb has been spotted towards short. He's going to make his way around the back of the SG. Although, refresh was still inside of the apartments, and the headshot comes in. So 7-7, seven to seven, scoreline even again. And this time, last round of the half, Optic, it's hard to see them not taking this one. I mean, yeah, they've been uh, on a bit of a roll here. It's uh, a given. There you see the opening pick. Aegis trying to be sneaky about it. Usually, if there's a smoke, it's pretty hard to be able to distinguish whether or not there is a CT behind that kind of an angle. Uh, with the smoke at the top connector, it makes it a whole lot easier. That said, though, we do have a purchase coming in from uh, Gamer Legion. They need to shore things up, and again, it's going to be mid aggression. Again, it's not going to lead to a whole lot. Well, existence does get one onto MSL. Config able to step in, and another one from Config towards jungle. Good stuff that from Config. And that's sort of why I want to see him not be the first man in. You know, you, yeah. send, you, send, you send one player in and they get the info and Config can just rinse them. And apparently that is, uh, I mean, that is something he has wanted to do. Again, yeah. be the entry tracker. I think a lot of people are left with the same kind of wishes you, you were just uh, mentioning. The fact that we've seen him initially having so much success with being that second or third guy into mm -hmm. a side and then clean out two to three people every single time. 
So it's sort of mind-boggling to see him go away from it when that's such a big strength of his. Perhaps the MSL can be the man to just go slap him and tell him no. Yeah, no. I mean, that's how the dynamic worked in both Dignitas and, and North uh, in the past, right? MSL would be the sacrificial in-game leader who jumps into battle first yeah. and have Magiskin config behind him. That's usually a pretty yeah. good uh, recipe for success. It, it, there's also a sort of way of looking at it. You can either... The kills actually. Refresh only getting the one. Hampus and not get two back in. It's all under Tess is trying to hold off short. Well, nowhere. The CTs get the kill, but the time is still ticking. Tess is forced into the open. The kill comes through, but Nock has managed to pick up that kill, and the kit is there as well. Going to go in for the defuse, and actually Gamer Legion pull it out of nowhere. So it's seven. Not too shabby. Being able to bring it back from that. Obviously, looking pretty dire with Config finding two picks on the A bomb side. Then, the, I guess, the, the decision from Optic to, to not follow up on the two entries on the A-bomb site. Mm. Kind of tearing them apart, but well done from Gamer Legion. Stabilizing at the very end. Obviously, significant run from Optic to, to make it to this point. As we see, their updated odds. 1.51 for Optic to, to win the match. Gamer Legion is sitting at 2.44. Again, it can swing pretty easily, I'd, I'd imagine, yeah. if uh, Gamer Legion were to pick up a second pistol here as well. I'd, I'd say it's as close as you can get it. Obviously, the half being it's 7. This is starting to look like a very interesting game indeed. Sometimes, though, you see the close halves come in and there just is a whitewash in the second. <laughs> Does happen every now and again. We'll see what comes of it, though. Smokes come out towards the A-bomb site. It's going to be a full-on committal from uh, the European team. Well, MSL trying to do some damage through the smoke. There's a big gap to play with on the right, but he just cannot land the shot. And so, unfortunately, he'll just give the info instead. And that's the kill from Nico. Pick it up, Nock. Yeah, Chess gets the double, but Nico steps in for one as well. Into the 3v3, Nico. All grip flash, but Ooh. still can't get anything. And so, stream in existence. The Belgian duo make it happen inside of CT. And Hampus will seal the deal. 9 7. Oh, so many kills on the side of Gamer Legion while they were flashed. A just gets his second one while flashed, and then the follow up again afterwards uh, from uh, the back of Gamer Legion. I thought Optic had a pretty solid idea of how they wanted to retake that. Yeah. It looked pretty decent for them. They had the right flashes, as you said, as well. Just Gamer Legion having a little bit of luck on their side to make that pull through. 9-7, to seven. so winning both uh, pistols in a best of one is usually a recipe for success. Usually it lends you to, uh, or it's more or less six free rounds, and, or less, that's how it used yeah. to be. I, I think, obviously, if uh, Team Four Spies like this and you beat them in this one, there's certainly three. Yeah. That's what we see. Scouts can have an impact. Three versus not. Config, though, quick reply. Keeps it even, has an AK to work with, so that does bolster the... Um, Scream? That's a teammate in Connector. So he just took away half the HP of existence. Well, MSL will finish him off with his scout, and that's relatively easy. Tensis will take away Scream, Nico coming in, and Config will sweep it up. Four players stay alive at Optic, and they get a round win. That is a... I don't even know what <laughs> to make of that, because there was no CDs of around. Existence had been in connector for quite some time. And again, just if you take 30 damage off a, uh, off a player when he's going up against scouts, it just it's obviously ma it makes the scout into an op. Yeah. Well, and MSL it, won't be complaining. No, he definitely won't. Existence might, though. Yeah. Because uh, considering the HP on MSL as well, you could have imagined that if Existence can take two hits from, from a scout instead, he wins out that duel. They have connector control. You don't have to force the issue a lot of other places. That is a pretty nasty mistake to make out of Gamer Legion. Well, Scream specifically, but yeah. Winning two pistols, sure, that's nice and dandy, but you got to be able to capitalize off of it. Instead, it's going to be off the gaming right back into it. No force buy really coming in from Gamer Legion either. So, Optic just making sure they don't make any mistakes. They've got two players playing relatively close towards the ramp area with uh, Nico having his eyes set on Palace. MSL is going to take a little bit of damage towards the window and will fall away as Nico will just sit here with the UMP. Poking his head up every now and then, trying to spot if a player has crossed over. Optic just want to win this one as cleanly as possible. Trying to limit the casualties. Nico He's going to fall for it. He's just going to walk into the lines then. He just wants this kill so badly. It's only one player there. He gets the info and 
Might have fallen all the way back. And so Scream is just posting himself up, just hoping a mistake comes in from Take to give them a slight opening. Wow. King Religion with no utility to get towards the site. They're going to have to rely on uh, the Deagles to do a lot of the work. He's going to get aggressive. Finds Hamp is already tagged up pretty heavily from early bouts towards the... This is looking to be a pretty easy cleanup for the optic side. Yeah. Nico just got bored. Has had enough of the games and wanted to go towards them. Yeah. Optic, uh, when Nico being the one, I think together with MSL, the one starting the, the I guess, run of rounds from, from optic side as well. Op Nico constantly finding big kills with the creek over towards that T side. MSL getting to work with, uh, with the op in mid. Set him off to a good pace. Now we'll see if Gamer Legion can actually answer back. Mactown on Hampus, Galil on Existence. So not the ideal weaponry that you'd like to see for this kind of a round, but they're going to speed up the pace as the back of it, at the back of it. Well, it's just, just starting to barrel his way through the apartments. Tessus on the other side of things, just waiting and looking up towards the apartments. But here comes the rest of the troops coming on in for Gamer Legion. This has to be a great moment. The flash is so good. Tess is completely blinded. Doesn't get any information. So he's eliminated immediately. And Config is just desperately looking for a kill. None will come his way. Although MSL steps up. Another shot has landed. But again, it's the scouts and not the insta-kill. Grenade might just finish off the job though and keep it even. Although Existence is just taking damage after damage and still stays alive. <laughs> Some acrobatic maneuvers to, to dodge the nade damage there. At least refresh all alone. Great B take from Gamer Legion right there. You can see all of the flashes doing everything they needed to do. The smokes towards Edward, pretty much isolating Config, leaving, uh, well, isolating Tessis, actually, leaving uh, Config unable to, to actually help him from that catwalk position. We will give up an AK to refresh, but all things considered, I have to be pretty happy about the response from Gamer Legion. Yeah, I think that's a good way of sort of answering things, you know. You, you win the pistol, then lose the follow-up, and straight away you just end up battering them in the B-bomb side. Just change the pace. We'll show we've still got a say in this one. Absolutely so. And, I mean, while we have a bit of a lull in the action, what you guys at home can do is go over to CSGO.net and use the code CHICAGO to get 30% more on your balance and uh, have the chance to win some cool skins while you're at it. So you get into round number 20. Flash goes into mid. Allows for Nico to peek. Nobody from Gamer Legion going to be around, though. Setting up in a rather passive initial setup. Hampus. A similar mindset as to what we saw from Nico over towards that B Apartments area. Very aggressive early on. Takes a lot of utility damage for it, but not going to get him away immediately. Oh, no. Ooh, Config. Actually finding some success with the wall bang there onto yeah. Hampus as he backs off. I think that's one of the least successful wall buying positions. Yeah. Everyone does it and you get a kill maybe like one out of every five thousand yeah. <laughs> something, something like, like that. five thousand attempts. Yeah. It's not exactly the greatest in terms of success rate, but the Ooh. headshot from Scream is a great headshot towards CT and on refresh under so much oh, pressure. Oh Molotov God. coming in towards it's just hellfire and Scream will eventually get rid of him. And this is not looking great for Optic. Gamer Legion starting to put a lot of pressure on towards the A bomb site. Not even using smokes for stairs or jungle. They don't obviously have them, so great work done on sort of limited utility. They, they do make the A bomb site happen for them. And Optic being so low on, in the economy side of things, they have to fall away as well. So Gamer Legion, good stuff. That was really well done. Flash from Existence setting up Scream. And again, much like we talked about Config being so good at being the second man in and everything, Scream, obviously, if you put him in a position to where he just gets that little millisecond to, to adjust and set up, then his aim is going to take care of the rest, and that's what happens in the duel versus MSL. Very well done. Keeping a lot of players alive as well. Hampus being the only one to go down off of that Config wall bang. There you have it. 11 rounds on the board. Here's to see, actually, if uh, like how the odds would look at this stage, right? They've been swinging back and forth so much. Here we are, though. Obviously pretty big for uh, for either team to, to win that initial best of one to start off the Invitational. Puts them out of elimination risk just immediately. And I think that pretty much set, uh, sets you up for surviving at least another day in, into the uh, tournament. 
play that best of three potential decider game. Yeah, when you get to the best of threes, that's when the, the favorites generally start to win. But mm -hmm. in the early stages, the best of ones, that's when some of the teams like Game Legion have so much skill in their back pocket, can you know pull these best of ones off. Tessa's jumping for information, finds a bullet. Nothing more comes out of it. MSL with an aggressive setup here. It's going to fall back off of it. So they're not committing as heavily to the aggression as we saw from the Gamer Legion. Ooh, into mid we go without any sort of utility. That's an optimistic move from Gamer Legion. It's going to net MSL the opening kill. And a follow-up is there as well. ZHS just decides to run away from underpass on config. Oh, eliminate knock, and that's the bomb drop inside the middle. It has to be a massive play here from Hampus and Scream. They've got to recover the bomb and also find five players. So they've got the first. One minute to do the rest. Hampus has been spotted and takes quite a bit of damage on board. Under a minute to play with. Scream on his way, ramping from T-spawn all the way back over towards top mid. And currently watching that is Nico. Oh no, Scream is just waiting for his opportunity, clearing all the corners. No one peeking, he knows the player could be, hot, be behind the boxes. So the Molotov comes in to try and clear that, but the smoke <laughs> stood away on top of it. That's a bit of a tell that Nico's around. So he knows that, but now he needs to wait out for the smoke to, to clear before he can actually move forward. Camp is still locked down on catwalk. It's been 30 seconds and they haven't really done a whole lot. Yeah, optics utility usage here have just kept them at bay. So at this stage, might just be better off saving, and I think that's the realization they've gotten to uh, as well. Yeah, no chance for this happening. So finally, Optic will pick one up again. So 10 to 11, back and forth. Again, the second half looking to be as close as the first. Although the first, I'm going to say it was kind of like very back and then very forward. You know, yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't back and forth. It was just a big chunk of run wins for Gamer Legion at the start and then a big chunk for Optic towards the end. It was very much a half of runs yeah. from uh, from both teams. This time it started off a lot more back and forth. Bit of a shame for Gamer Legion not to be able to get more kills in this kind of round considering the investment. I mean, very low econ on, on the side of Optic. So while they will get the chance to, to rebuy here, as you can see, off in the hands of Nock, uh, AKs on everyone outside of existence, healthy on utility. If they would have been able to chunk down a few more players on the optic side, they would have been able to have a really decent chance at grabbing two rounds in a row. It's not going to be the case, though. Nock initially searches for an opening towards A, not going to find anything. MSL has posted himself up over towards B apps. There's actually a bit of a double setup here with uh, Tessis. Will fall down eventually, and well, I is gonna get focused on that a bomb site where you have the the double setup close up by uh, by pit. Refresh, ready to just drop a smoke as soon as he sees anything at all. I don't think really wanted to get down from there, but doesn't want to make a step. There you go, smoke comes down. Now they're going to have to run through it because they've expended pretty much all of their utility on the side of Gamer Legion. That Molotov gives him the kick of the ass to go through and there it is, it chess. He will fall, refresh, ready for that one. That will be the man advantage there for Optic. Gamer Legion are going to have to try and source a reply and they've only got a Molotov on Existence and Nock, two flash bikes left. It's not looking too great for their chances, they've just got to frag out at this point. And that's going to be easier said than done as Refresh and Config hold below the wood. They've got Nico to assist from CT. And 25 seconds to find these kills. And here's the chance for existence. And able to pick up the headshot and Config. That'll be the bomb on the floor. And Game Religion, again, probably just the save call at this point. Optic, they've yeah. done enough. They really have. Game Religion now falling prey to basically getting countered by utility on the side of Optic. They... Uh, hold on to all the utility they need early on. You can still, even with the utility they used to, to hold Gamer Legion back, they have so much left. Still have a smoke on MSL, Molotov on Nico, flashes, nades, whatever you need really for a retake as well. And I guess we might see, if Gamer Legion are heads up about, about this kind of play, because this is the second time we've seen uh, Refresh play that kind of uh, aggressive position towards Pit, not necessarily taking the duel, just dropping their smoke and allowing them, uh, allowing Optic to set up a solid crossfire and whatnot. That's when you need to do basically at the start of the round or mid round, whatever you want, expend two to three smokes just to bait out the utility on the side of the CTs. Just make yourself, uh, give yourself a chance to actually swing back into it. Still have some utility for a potential execute. 
existence this time going down towards the B apps. Nobody really from uh, Gamer Legion having initial success over towards B. Okay. Bit of a staggered push out of A apps. Bomb's going to roll down as well. This is looking a little bit flat from Gamer Legion. Well, Chess making his way through the top of the connector. He's good for one, but that's it. And so Nork. I think that was audible as well, so they might know exactly where he's playing from. Oh. Doesn't matter. What a fast shot onto refresh. The bomb is still on the floor. A minute left to make this clutch happen. They'll jump up on top of the box. He's trying to beat them up towards him. He wanted the fight, and it came to him, just not when he was ready. So Tessis will take him away, and that is Optic back into the lead with three in a row. It's 12-11. I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about Tessis because, you know, I've heard sort of the rumors are that Optic knew this was always going to happen, so they brought in Tessis as the, the fifth for the team. I don't know, with them going to change the, the roster, will they keep Tessis? And obviously, the odds aren't looking too great here for uh, for Game Legion at the minute. Well, it's got a lot worse. <laughs> uh, it really has. No, it, it's, a, it's a fair call. Some saying that, you know, you had a cheaper buyout, so you're going to fill a temporary, uh, temporary slot for them as they knew they were parting with Optic, but... Let's see what comes of it. Again, doesn't really have too much experience from, from the highest level. Uh, play for a golden git for this. Not necessarily uh, having an international experience. So it's a bit of an odd pickup in that sense, especially consider how wide the, the talent pool in, in Denmark is. People probably saw well, Optic trying to poach someone from Heroic potentially, or maybe the old Fragsters lineup. Mm. Something to that effect, but we'll see. He's, uh, he's not doing himself any shame so far. He played well at uh, DreamHack Summer as well, so that's obviously yeah. a good event to sort of show your skills. I think it's also very beneficial for young players to be able to play with someone like MSL. Again, coming into a structured team, you know what you're meant to do. You're allowed to, to basically showcase a better side of yourself. Scream needs to show himself from his absolute best side if he's going to swing this into a round for Gamer Legion. 1v4, does have the bomb. So, Peretti set and willing. It's 13 rounds on the board for uh, Optic here. They've really swung this back. Yeah, they're looking in poor position to take this one over the line. And the pause has come in. I'm assuming this will probably be from Gamer Legion. Yeah, you'd imagine so. I think they're, they might be... Contemplating whether or not they want to get a glass cannon op out on Nock. Uh, in addition to all the utility they have on their side, Hampus is opted for a Krieg. Uh, for those who didn't, I guess, pay attention when it came to TV updates, the Krieg has been left untouched. It's mm. only the AUG that's received a, a nerf. We're actually not seeing many AUGs on the side of Optic. We did see a few on, on Gamer Legion. We'll already see a bit of a shift. Yeah. I think uh, after watching Pro League, I think it's motivated a lot of people to pick up the SG. The more yeah. teams using that weapon, especially a liquid, it can, uh, can definitely start to rub off on a couple of the other teams. Yeah. But it's like you said, has a very unique spray pattern compared to the other weapons that you, well, more regularly use. So the shift into that is going to take some, uh, some learning. There we go. Throws an 8 up mid, does a lot of damage. Existence down to 27. Nico, is he about to jump through the window? It looked like he had that in his mind. That would have been very, very strange indeed, but he wants to stay here towards the top of the window where it's safe. He went for a player to boost on in. Nico wants to go and take the fight. He's being relatively aggressive here, actually, in this game, which is uh, quite nice to see. Oh, no more needs to throw in that Nico. Just the one, so he's going to get out of there pretty safely. Top smoke. Yeah, top, top connector smoke goes in. So a bit more gra ground gained Ooh. on the side of Gamer Legion, but they can't make it to the bomb set here. Gitch has... Oh, oh, there we go. God. I was going to say, he barely survived the first Molotov. The second coming in finally gets him. Yeah, existence down to 8 HP as well. Hampus has made his way up here, though, unnoticed oh, no. for the time being. <laughs> yeah, I think he was just about to make it unnoticed, and then MSL spotted him jumping to the left. So incredibly unfortunate there. Scream at least gets one kill back. Gamer Legion still stand a chance, although <laughs> if MSL had shot his teammate down, that definitely would have helped, but yeah. he will look back towards Connector, gets one kill onto Existence, although Scream again is the equalizer, or at least the man keeping it within touching distance, as he will get another headshot. 
Refresh, Config, and Tessus. All they have to do is just try and stay alive and hold their corner. And Refresh is the man towards ramp. Just off towards Tetris here. He's trying to just jiggle oh, the information. But Scream's got himself another headshot. This is three for Scream already. He has to do it all, though. It has to be the 1v2 is clutch coming in. He is the aim star of the team, the big name when you talk about individuals. And can he make it happen? Another headshot collected. Just one more player. And Scream, he's looking hungry for it. He's looking back over towards the connector. And there it is from Scream. All five kills come in, and Gamer Legion, they have to thank him for that one. <laughs> a bit of a guardian angel right there. Scream doing a masterful job to win out that. Not just the, the 1v2, but completing it with an ace. Really just bringing that out of nowhere as well. Gamer Legion looked lost. They dropped down to low HP here. Aegis obviously dying to Maltovs before they even got anywhere. They were stuck in connector for such a long time, and then Scream finds an opening on Nico in uh, Window Room. It starts it all, but yeah, Gamer Legion <laughs> have to be uh, yeah thanking their lucky stars right now that Scream decided to uh, pull them out of that one. Okay then, what? I did not see a single thing. I mean, uh, we have X-ray. I am gonna be honest, I did not see <laughs> a single pixel there. Well, X-ray vision maybe on these new young talents and MSL is getting aggressive. Oh, just misses out on the timing. Might hear a running here though, but knock is posted up. They've been good about expecting aggression here on both sides. Yeah. We saw Nico doing that on a rotation earlier in an after plant scenario. Got a good read on each other. That's two man advantage for Gamer Legion. They've never been in this kind of a situation. Have to be feeling pretty good about themselves right now. And you can see the entirety of the optic defense is situated towards the B bomb site right now. Yeah, they're about to execute in towards A, and there's literally no one there. Oh, so. is it going to be a fake? Oh, no way. Oh, are they. Is this really going to happen? There's still time for, for them to rotate back. They do have. Hamp is pretty far forward. He's going to spot one. If he sees two, like he did now, I think that might turn them around. And yeah. you can see, yeah. The existence Ooh. makes the run all the way back towards A. They already have HS in spawn. And now, smoke's down and everything's going to be refreshed as well towards jungle. Should be an easy enough bomb plant at the very least. We'll see if Optic actually decides to go for this, though. It's going to be default plant. They do have HS in spawn. He goes down, though. Their after plant decisions are not too strong. They do have one player in apps. That's pretty decent for now, but it doesn't seem like Optic have any intention yeah. of going for this. They think, don't have the money for it, straight up. I think when they give up the A bomb site, when they see them falling back, I think they're actually considering the CF call straight away. Yeah. And uh, then when Game of Legion just walk into them, like, okay, well. Like, we'll take it. <laughs> well, fine, thank you. <laughs> yeah. At least it's good from Game of Legion to see that they, they do sacrifice Hampus in that sense. If he makes it out to the B bomb site, clears it out, nobody's there. Perfect, right? And if he goes down and he knows that there's more than two, that makes your decision so if you easy if you if you're gaming the legion. Well, thanks to Scream, starting off their attack, <laughs> they are back to 13-13. So they've also gotten enough money to the point where they should be able to rebuy even if they were to lose this round. Speaking of rebuying, we'll come in on on the side of Optic as well, but again, a little bit limited. They should be able to uh, to get nades up on config and refresh as well, but pretty big round coming up uh, here on uh, for the CT side. Losing this would uh, obviously leave Gamer Legion on 14 and a potential map point. Well, match actually, it's a best of one. Have brought it back, yeah. No, it would be quite the turnaround for Gamer Legion if they were to swing this back off the off the back of Scream acing. You can see him topping the. The leaderboard as well for Gamer Legion, 21 frags. Knock a little bit ahead in score, but you know, going old school with how we're counting. Oh, back into f the game we go. Free time and pause is over. Optica have been able to talk their uh, strategies through. Let's see what they come up with. Well, the smoke is out towards the site. Utility being used up as well as Config will sit towards Sandwich. Gamer Legion just using the Molotovs, trying to limit the positions they could be playing from. They haven't checked Config though. That's going to be the kill. Another one from Config. They cleared every angle, it seems, apart from Sandwich. And Config is just going nuclear. Could have got the third there, but unfortunately cannot do so. So Tessis will reach double figures on his 10th kill. He will drop Hampus, Existence, and Knock into the 2v4. AWP looking for some sort of pick, but Nico, perfect timing. We'll find Nock. Existence, last man standing, has had a bit of a quiet performance himself. 
And this would be the time to step up into a 1v4, and that's going to be a kill. Just wants a uh, player running away back over towards ramp. I don't think they uh, have to really go for this optic. He can just sit there, wait for him to come to them. Yeah, I think Refresh heard the steps as well as he was falling back. That's why the Sumo comes down. For Existence, this is much more about getting a kill, more so than winning the round. Looking at it from a realistic point of view. Well, expecting the aggressive. Oh, he's actually not going to go towards the B-bomb side. Going to pick up the op. Might actually just be happy with that. Yeah. And as you said, for optic, it doesn't really make sense for them to go hunting, considering the state of their economy. So that should be uh, at least an op gather. Tessus actually is liking his chances here. If he drops him, that's a really big kill. Oh, oh, that is, yeah. And it's so unnecessary as well. Doesn't it, There's not enough time for existence to get a bomb plant, but that just pretty much puts Optic in a, in a rough spot. Nico actually has a little bit of extra money. Oh, oh existence. The 50-50 call to either run <laughs> yeah. towards the bomb that are going under pass doesn't pan out. So they do find him, I guess, in that. And uh, at that stage, it is a pretty big get for, uh, for Optic, but still. You are uh, playing dang a dangerous game there. If Existence finds one out of those two when they keep chasing for him after Tessus dies, that leaves you with a very limited buy. Yeah, there's like barely any money uh, if they uh, they lose multiple players there. Luckily, their buy will come in. Yep. The economy from Gamer Legion is not in a great position itself. So this is one of those swing rounds. Oh, Nico. He's spotted it out. Oh, barely able to, uh, to get Hampus down. 11 HP, done some uh, damage onto existence as well, but that's the opening So Gamer Legion. Gamer Legion just showed so much presence inside of middle. They eliminate Nico, he gives all the info that they're going inside of mid, and then they immediately give it up and go back over towards B. Yeah. So. Nobody's going back from Optic, though, to keep it on mid. But Config actually might be rotating around at the wrong time. He tries to set up for the pop flash, and it's not going to be in time. Tessus, what a hole. Three kills coming yeah. in. Existence hit chest and scream. They all fall. Not able to pick up one, but Config's got another. It's all on to Hampus. 11 HP, and Config just wants this spot to the back of him, and he's dropped a 2 HP. Somehow Hampus is still standing. For how long, though? Probably not long. <laughs> there we go. Refresh won't finish him off. It's map point optic. Yeah. And I'm not sure how accurate that flash assist is. Uh, it definitely. Fair to say that he flashed one out of the two, uh, out of the three players' uh, conflict, but it looks like he was a little bit late to, to set up for the, the pop flash there for Tessus, but still works out nicely. Great yeah. hold from uh, the newcomer in Optic. I think it slightly blinded Tessus as well. Yeah, it looked like everyone was having basically like an even fight, just Tessus getting the better of it. That was a really nice time for him to come alive as well. That could have just uh, sent that bomb side rocking. Now, as a final buy, it's not what you like to see on Gamer Legion set. Deagles and Utility. Into mid we go. Well, Flash Pine goes towards Connector. That's going to go London to run on in, but oh. MSL misses the shot. We're looking back, but luckily Refresh. Grid Sprite gets one. MSL actually collected the first, but HS and Scream, they've got kills between them. Config able to eliminate him, and another one coming through from Config. It's looking all but over here. Kim Legion, they've shown some great signs of life, but Config managed to pull it off in the end. A 16 13 win here on Mirage. Yeah, Optic have to feel pretty happy about that, especially considering how the game started out down 7 to 1 yeah. uh, before they really got into it. But once we uh, yeah got further into the game, I think it was uh, fair to say that Optic had the better ideas, the better adaptation to how they, they went about the game, so deserved the victory. Uh, uh, and Gamer Legion, I mean, they probably would have been out of it earlier if it hadn't been for that Scream Ace. Yeah, definitely. I, I, f I feel like it was reaching its conclusion towards the end of that. And then yeah. obviously when Scream manages to pull off a hero play, that gives them a slight chance, a little bit of a life support, but still can't quite get it done. No, uh, just uh, just about. Uh, still not done. Obviously, we've got more games coming up, but that does put Optic into uh, the, the, I guess, the winner bracket match, if you want to call it that, the one that potentially puts you directly into the semifinals. Pretty big get for them. Again, they get to get, be rid of the best of ones. So uh, I guess a lot of their potential fears might be gone already. Exactly, but after the break, we will have Heroic and uh, new look Avangor. They've Ooh, obviously brought yes. in Adran instead of Fitch, so that's going to be a, a super interesting team to take a look at. So join us after the break while we take a closer look at Heroic versus Avangor.